four. All right, let's get to this. The statue is back. Yes, it's a rare, beloved statue of Our Lady of Fatima. It's back home at its New Jersey church. Yeah, now here it is. This is the moment, what it was probably a week ago, Tuesday, that uh, really surprised us. A man removing the statue right from the church there, St. Andrew the Apostle Church in Gibbsboro in Camden County. So police have the guy in custody and the statue is now back at the church and it'll get blessed at a mass in about a half an hour. So we want to bring in Monsignor Louis Marucci, the pastor at St. Andrew's Church. Hi Monsignor, thank you for Hello. being on the show. Hi, good morning, Mike and Alex. It's great to be with you. Thanks for having me today. Sure. So did we get all that right? It, 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 tell me about the statue. How long it had it been at the church? We acquired the statue in uh, 2016. It was the 100th anniversary of the uh, apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima in Portugal. And I led a pilgrimage over to uh, Fatima. Wow. And I wanted to acquire a special statue, mm -hmm. uh, a replica of the statue in Portugal. And also the crown is unique in this particular statue. So we've had it since 2016. And, and where was it placed? It has, um, where in the church is it? Because we see in the surveillance video, it seems like it's pretty accessible for folks to be able to walk up to it. Right, we have a private chapel that seats about uh, 50 people and we leave it in the chapel so that people can have access sure. to it, that they can pray in front of it. Right now it's in the main church proper as we're getting ready to celebrate the feast of the Nativity of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the feast of her birthday. Mm-hmm. Um, did you know the person who took it? You know, there's a familiarity of the person. We believe yeah. that he has actually been in the church at different times. There was obviously a familiarity because he really knows the uh, uh, layout of the church. He enters one of the main doors, but he exits yeah. through a side private door. But you, we don't know anything about the motive or why he wanted to take this, because we know it was found in his home, right? We know that uh, he said to the detectives he was angry with God. Oh, and wow. this was a way of getting back at God to uh, uh, steal the statue of uh, Blessed Virgin Mary. Wow. Yeah, it, it, it says to me that there's uh, more to the motive than just yeah. doing an you know, evil intent against the church. Perhaps there's some uh, mental or psychological deficiency. Yeah, I and think the so. hope would be the person gets the help that they need. Yes, hopefully right. so. And, and we know that she's not damaged or anything. Is she in the same condition as when she was before she was taken? Yeah, there was a slight little uh, hairline crack on her neck before she was taken, but that's a little bit much more significant right mm -hmm. now. But it's not something that we cannot get repaired yeah. um, and protected for the future. So you're going to bless the statue, uh, what, in about half an hour or so? Yeah, 8 a.m. we're going to have a special mass of Thanksgiving because the statue has been returned to us. The yeah. congregation is filled with uh, joy. Uh, we're going to rededicate the statue for our parish because it was out awesome. of our possession. Yeah. And then we're going to begin a devotion that's called the 2000 Hail Mary Devotion. The parishioners will pray uh, right after the mass and they'll pray 2000 Hail Marys until approximately 6 p.m. today, all in thanksgiving and gratitude Monsignor. for the now, blessings that Our Lady does. I was raised in the Catholic Church. I went to Catholic schools for, well, through my senior year of high school. Did you just say 10,000? Two. 2,000 two two, Hail Marys? 2,000. That's right. This, uh, Aren't you glad you never got that as a, oh, uh, as a yeah. penance and confession? I mean, I've, I've done plenty of rosaries. So I don't know. You might have been close to the confession. I thought a rosary was long. <laughs> 2,000. So is this in rotation? This is a lot of... Uh, parishioners I guess or is it is because there's so many different people and we're just counting all the like no not not one person's not going to do no we have Mary's. a uh, wonderful uh, Filipino community here in our parish it's part of one of the Filipino uh, traditions and li literally we start at, they actually started at 6 a.m. we took a break for this broadcast oh. the mass will begin at 8 a.m. and then they will continue praying throughout the entire day 2000 so there's somebody we interrupted them. there's somebody in the in the church right now who just before we started this was saying Hail Marys 
Right, that they started at 6 a.m. this morning, and you'll see the church will start now filling up with people as they people. come for the morning mass. Look at this. And then um, they, you'll see uh, uh, as they continue to fill the church, and then we will continue to pray, you know. It just speaks of their love for the Blessed That's Mother sure, and yeah. the power and the presence of her in our lives. Yeah. That's, that is for sure. Oh, it's great meeting well, you, Monsignor. And Monsignor, do you think you could spare a prayer for us too yeah, could while you, you're at it? Like, throw two or three Hail Marys in for us. <laughs> And if I could just give a shout out to and Thanksgiving to your viewing audience, to uh, all those that helped us, the news media, the police departments, and Homeland Security provided the grant for us to have the surveillance equipment. So we're very grateful because we would have never been able to uh, uh, receive the statue yeah. back if it wasn't for so many hands working together. That's awesome. Put our hands together. Yes. Uh, thank you, Monsignor. Thank you. All right. Uh,